quite interesting with this city and the surrounding area that I've yet to have a bad meal. Now, that may mean that I've chosen rather well. Um, I've reviewed Artisan in Hessel, reviewed White's near Beverly. Um, I can't say yet what my opinion of uh, the Pipe and Blast where I went last night is going to be, but let's just say it's not a bad restaurant by any stretch of the imagination. There's at least half a dozen, probably ten, really good restaurants around here. Like we go to Medici, which is just like up the road, it's really handy. There's the one, you know, the two or three we go to, there's uh, the place uh, Artisan. The Westwood at Beverly, um, and then there's the Boar's Nest as well. We're very fortunate in this region to have some really great um, suppliers, some great farmers and fine food producers. There are so many in the, in the Yorkshire and in the East Yorkshire region. It's fantastic. I mean, that's as good, I go to London quite a bit, that's as good as anything you get in London, seriously. And that's really encouraging because the truth is that there used to be whole swathes of the country where you couldn't get a good meal and clearly Hull and the area around it is not one of those. If you come to a place like Hull, which historically has had a bit of a bad rap for some various reasons, and then you discover there's a whole bunch of good restaurants here, you think, well, this is a city I ought to see. Uh, and, and it's certainly how I respond to places, probably because I'm a greedy man and too obsessed with my own dinner. Uh, myself and Kate, my wife, uh, bought the piping glass in 2000, March 2006. Uh, we chose to come round here, we looked at a lot of different places, um, but this area just was quite attractive to us for the kind of uh, setup that we wanted. Started off with just myself and another couple of guys in the kitchen and Kate and a couple of people out front. Uh, set out a stall to do, to cook nice food, locally sourced, seasonal food serve Yorkshire hospitality to people and uh, within a very short space of time we ended up being very busy and three and a half years down the line we now employ about 35 people um, which is a busy operation at Pipe and Glass we do anywhere between 750 and 1000 covers a week make everything fresh in house um, and it's just a great place to be live and eat sleep and breathe really the fantastic produce that's around here and the variety and quality of it as well with the, all the different producers bringing uh, to the farmers markets which is great farmers markets in the East Riding quite a lot you know it's popular people are becoming more aware of locally sourced things going to the farmers market expect to see stuff like that on the restaurant menus throughout East Yorkshire as well uh, so I think more and more restaurants and eateries are actually picking up on that and it's actually becoming easier to source that produce as well. People are genuinely surprised and really excited by what we have to offer here. A very vibrant nightlife and uh, sort of cafe culture has developed over the last four years really. Oh, I think it's very important. If you think that since the late 1990s, we've had something like £800 million worth of investment into the Salt Inn site, and that's both BP and uh, other operators. A great many of those um, investments involved uh, meals during the, uh, the, the, the lunch times or in the evenings between BP and, and, and other partners. And, and it's very important to, I think, showcase the area uh, as somewhere where, where you can have a, a very good quality of, of uh, life and um, all, all the different sort of supporting things that, that, that businesses uh, like. And there, there are a great many uh, restaurants, a great, great number of choices in the area. Sort of large restaurants, uh, we had about 30 of our leadership team um, here a couple of weeks ago and uh, we took them to the Custom House in, in Hull uh, and, and they, they had a fantastic evening. But we've also got some very intimate restaurants as well. So, so yes, the, the eating side of things is, is very important um, in, in the business uh, life, I think.